Boom shakalaka, legendary Bitcoin setup, but you may want to be just a little bit cautious. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randa here from Crypto. Today's video, we're taking a look at this legendary Bitcoin setup and why you may just want to think twice. Before we get into it, guys, like the video, join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love, subscribe to the OG Bitcoin and Crypto YouTube channel, making daily videos since 2017. Holy freaking cow. Today, Fear and Greed Index at 30, down from yesterday's 31, up from last week's 29, but in fear for a while now. The overall market up 3% today. Bitcoin is 61,198, Ethereum at 2747, and BNB at 530. Now, Bitcoin continuing in this bear flag right now, bouncing back up to meet the 21 EMA, sitting just below it at the moment, in pretty much the dead center of this uh, bull flag that we're sitting in right now. And if we take a look, market makers often take advantage of major macroeconomic events to liquidate Bitcoin traders. We've seen this over and over and over with leverage getting liquidated. Now, the bulls should keep an eye on the potential dip to 59.7, while bears must watch out for a rally towards 62.2 ahead of the uh, US CPI data. You can see a lot of leverage to be liquidated at those levels could be very volatile couple days. Despite the volatility, 45% of Bitcoin supply, actual real Bitcoin, not paper Bitcoin, hasn't moved in six months. Taking a look at that. Long-term holders seem unfazed by market swings, reinforcing their commitment to Bitcoin, which gives us, well, an idea that things will eventually be turning around and going up. Bitcoin is at the end of its consolidation. If it's similar to this time in 2023, Bitcoin moves close to this moving average and then it takes off from there. You can see right there, close to that moving average and then takes off, potentially nearing the end of a very, very long consolidation that I'm sure most people would be happy it breaks out of as long as it breaks up and not down. Bitcoin right now, based on the halving, we're still waiting for any movement after the halving. You can see historically in halving, sometimes it takes a little while to gather some steam. Definitely not this one right here. But the other ones, this halving definitely taking some time to gather some steam. We have evidence that Bitcoin could be ready to surge based on the MACD crossover on the daily charts. The last couple times we had a crossover and a breakout, well, price went up unless, well, no, it happened again. This is just a fake out right here. Looks like, once again, across no fake out. Watch out for CPI volatility over the next day. But that seems to be all you need to worry about. Right now, historic Bitcoin setup. One of the most macro bullish charts right now. We have Bitcoin VIX uh, volatility indicator. Finding support down there. We also have nice setup in these other indicators. Suggesting that Bitcoin could be getting ready for launch. And this indicator right now suggesting historic bitcoin setup buying when it's in the green like it is right now historically has proved very very good for buyers just released a new bitcoin metric to check on chain charting suite this one develops bollinger bands based on the unrealized profit loss held by short-term holder cohort ideal for hodlers looking to avoid fomoing into rallies and stack confidently during dips whenever it's in green that is amazing stacking opportunity, which you are seeing right now. Whenever it's in red, danger, danger, danger Will Robinson. Things might be going down shortly thereafter. Right now, suggesting historic setup for Bitcoin. Unless, well, right now on the hourly, forming a great triangle pattern that we can see right here. These break out about 50-50, 50% up, 50% down. The upward bullish possible target, $68,000. The bearish possible target, $52,000. But if you consider, we also have somewhat of a bull pennant. Well, maybe this might push the odds of going up even higher, hinting at the surge towards $64,000 before breaking out of a sideways megaphone, which in the past cycles, 2016 and 2020, has led to massive gains for Bitcoin, potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars. But that's all for this episode. Like the video, join us on Twitter, subscribe to the channel, and also uh, YouTube says watch that video right there. So go check it out. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, 
If you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.